Hi there, I'm going to show you how to make a lovely vase for the kitchen using some simple supermarket or garage flowers and some foliage picked from the garden or someone else's garden. So, first things first, fill your vase up three quarters of the way and then start adding your foliage. Now it's very important with a woody stem that you cut at an angle then cut up it to increase the water absorbing um, cells so they can drink up nicely and then just add them willy nilly at a bit of an angle there. So I'm adding this is a beautiful scented choice here which is an orange blossom and we're taking off the lower leaves because what you don't want is leaves in the water and that'll make it all soupy and horrible. The lovely thing about foliage is you can just pop in anything you like. You've got an old house plant you don't want, you can chop that up or go into a neighbour's garden. Again, I'm cutting up the wooden stems. Always snip up a wooden stem. The neighbour's garden, do it for a little walk. This is a very lovely hazel, which will give it a lovely lilt. And that's the thing, it's all about the foliage. Keep adding foliage, and then it'll give that, it'll give that kind of high-end, top florist look to your bunch of flowers that you've bought from the supermarket or the garage. Lovely bit of, um, what am I calling that? I'm calling that silver birch. That's very lovely. So just keep adding it to the vase and keep it loose, open and lovely. Don't be worried about being too precious because um, when you look out of the window in the garden or someone else's garden, everything looks quite haphazard anyway. You don't, it's, not, it's not a wedding bouquet, it's a lovely bunch of kitchen flowers. And it'll just give it a really lovely professional look. So I'm adding lots of this lovely foliage. Hazel, lovely, all lovely indigenous English foliages. And I think that's a very nice shape we're getting there. So once you've added all your foliages, you then want to start adding your flowers. Now, don't be scared of flowers. People get a bit scared of flowers. Don't be scared. So you want a nice clean stem so that the um, water will drink in and keep them nice and clean. So snipping away all in one go and then add them in groups. Think about how flowers grow. They grow in drifts and swathes. So we're adding three there. Just keep turning it like this. And then we're going to add, let's put some up here. Popping them in, keeping it really nice and open. This is just a lovely casual, I've been in the garden, I picked some flowers, that's okay. So we've got all our white, we'll pop that little one there. And then if you suddenly end up thinking, oh, I've got a bit of a gap, get a bit more foliage. Again, snipping the stems. And just, just kind of let it kind of breathe. Let it kind of be open and flowing. Um, what are we going to do now? Let's put these yellow tulips in now. So, again, easier in one go. Get your stems and give them a good old snip because you want that lovely fresh wound, as I call it, to um, absorb all the water. Again, I've got, how many have I got there? I've got four, I could have got five in. Let's have a big swathe. This just gives it that lovely professional look. And then just keep adding them willy nilly. As soon as you've cut the stem, you want to get them in the water, otherwise, it starts sealing up and they won't drink. If you really want to keep the water looking lovely and clean, add a tiny bit of bleach to it. That keeps it really, really nice and clear and clean. But um, obviously do let people in your family know, in case there's a spillage, because bleach isn't that, um, that friendly. But it's a really great thing for keeping the water nice and clear. Or the other thing is to change the water every day, and again, snip the stems. So, we're getting there. So once you've got it all in there, have a bit of a shuffle around and I think your friends and family will be amazed by how clever you are.